Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Parisno 0.5. Now, when we left off, we had just gained word that Lord Licinius wanted to... Okay, that's rather strange. I was not expecting these fellows to actually charge into the entire Machavian vassal force, but yes, as I was saying, Lord Licinius wanted us to join him in his campaign against our enemies, that being the Kingdom of Tarrania. So... This is a little strange. I was not expecting these demon fellows to actually engage upon us, but it seems as though we don't actually have our vassals' protection when it comes to fighting demons. So we will have to deal with them ourselves. I'm pretty sure now that I have my new axe, I should be completely fine to actually deal some damage this time around. Because if you recall, beforehand, I was actually doing not much at all. So let's hope that I can actually do a pretty good job here. Now I am going to be getting off my horse for this because as you know I would prefer to go along with the troops as we do currently have quite a few infantrymen and not many cavalry at all so it would be quite nice to run around with the infantry and let's just see what we can do here. So let's charge in our infantry, try and take down these very early cavalry scouts right here and not get killed in the process. Let's try to, at least. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, this guy is a beast. Now, it would be nice if I actually had a combat log, but as you can see, it has bugged out once again. I'm not too sure what's going on with that, but maybe it's because I was waiting at the town for quite some time with Lord Licinius. And there we are. We actually took out one of the demon priests, I believe. So that's rather nice. Now, I will be charging everyone else in as well, because... Goodness knows we need the assistance. Aha, here we go. This is where we can take down these fellows right now. These are very easy to take down in comparison to those demon priests, I believe. So I'm pretty sure we'll be fine here. And maybe I can actually do some damage. Oh, that was a shame. <laughs> I was actually very much hoping that I could actually get some damage with those throwing weapons right there. Maybe this fellow here? No. Ah, well, okay. My prison guards seem to do an excellent job at thwarting the enemy's efforts to defeat us. But there we are. We did succeed in attaining victory, but we lost 14 to death, which is, yeah, rather serious. But they had four demon priests and five demon worshippers and a couple of demon pilgrims, of course. And we do actually get to take one of these demon priests captive, so I'm actually very pleased with that. So we can also take these, which are better than what we had before, which is very surprising considering I already had these and they were actually very nice. So never mind, that is good. We can give these to a companion perhaps. And we actually gained this, a double moon pole arm, which I think we can probably give to one of our companions that is actually proficient in pole arms. So that is a good thing indeed. And we will just take a couple more things here just to sell. There we are. Okay, so let's actually just take a look at our party. We have gained quite a few levels right here. Ooh, Parisno Clerics, that is very nice. Ah, and there we are. The text log is now back, so that's pretty good. And yes, more Parisno Monks, and we can now get some Machavian footmen. And our freelancer recruit has actually advanced in level. That is great, okay. Ooh, he's actually looking a lot deadlier than he did before, and he will very soon hopefully become a freelancer infantry. We can only hope. Now Faziel is requiring us to level him up a little and I think we will be increasing his strength somewhat. So let's get some more power strike. Why not? And there we are. That will be fine. Now I'm actually thinking maybe I should give him this crossbow right here because it is 77 damage he doesn't have the strength to use it though, as far as I can tell, so I will be keeping it for him down here. And what kind of bolts is he using? Normal bolts, so we could potentially give him these. That will increase his damage by one at least. And I think maybe we will be giving him these boots as well, why not? Okay, I think that should be fine. He is using a wooden shield, so maybe I should give him... Huh, that's actually better than this cracked Nordic shield. I'm actually very surprised by that. Okay, well, maybe we should just give him this kite shield instead. It does have a huge amount of HP in comparison, and size as well. So, 
Yes, hopefully that will keep him alive a little longer. And now Kara does need to level up. Of course, she is not entirely happy with Alindel, so yes, not entirely sure how we're going to deal with that. And there we are. I think that will be fine. Now, it would be really nice if we could actually give her some gear to wear. So let's give her those, and I suppose we will actually give her that, because it is better, even though I don't really want her wearing that sort of stuff. We are going to be giving that to her nevertheless, and we may as well give her that cracked Nordic shield and a balanced sword as well. Yes, I was thinking of giving her the double moon, but I think Allendel can probably use that. Yes, yes, he has a proficiency in pole arms, and I can imagine that Oh, he would actually use that quite well. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so apparently he needs 13 in strength. What does he have at the moment? 8. Ah, well, <laughs> this might actually take quite some time for him to be able to use that. That is unfortunate. Uh, okay, well, never mind. We were victorious in that endeavor. And now, hopefully, we will be able to accompany Lord Licinius onward even further into... Our enemy's territory, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure where he's going at the moment, because it doesn't seem as though he's heading off into Tauranian territory, that is for sure. So, yes, we'll just have to be quite careful now, because, as you could tell, our vassals... Okay. Our vassals did not help us one bit versus those fellows, so yes, we do need to be a little cautious. And now we do need to speak to Lord Licinius himself, because he needs a volunteer to scout, by the looks of things. Yes. Ribule Castle, Kelradan Castle, and Chide, I believe. You found your volunteer. And, okay. Now we just need to find out where they are. So Kelradan, Chide, and... Ooh, Ribule Castle. That's very far away from the others, isn't it? Ooh, this is going to be a little tricky to do in the time allotted. Oh! And that's actually very nice. The Redwood Nation and Machavia have concluded a non-aggression treaty. That is always a good sign. Although, I suppose it does limit our options to looting villages and so forth. Oh, that's not good. Okay. This is where we run away in the opposite direction. Are they moving faster than us? No. Okay, so we can easily outrun these fellows, thank goodness. And a significant group of enemies has been spotted near Talbar, which is over there, so I'm hoping we'll be able to... Okay. I thought those guys were actually coming after us right there, but it seems as though they are mainly inferring the outlaw mercenary warband. So let's just very, very quickly pass on through and hopefully get this scouted before we either fail the quest or something else happens that is not too good. Come on, let me scout this. Did I scout it? Yes, there we are, okay. Good. Now let's head over to Chide as quickly as we can. Of course, I am not really wanting to speed up time here because, as you can tell, we are in enemy territory and it would be terrible if we were taken down at this point. I don't think I would have a very easy time of it gaining our army back. But who knows? <laughs> I had to do it quite a few times in other series, so this would be no different. So oh, yes. Okay, now, most of the Tolranians' vassals I've seen at the moment are actually rather decently powered. They don't seem to be too powerful, and I'm actually very happy with that, because that means that I might actually have a chance at taking some of them on in the future at some point. Now, really? Training accident, how dare you? Uh, during today's training, you were accidentally injured. While the wounds aren't severe, it may take some time for them to heal. How dare you, Striker? Oh my goodness. 63%? Okay, well, let's just hope that we can find Lord Licinius again. Now, I'm hoping that he will be over here somewhere. Oh no. And it's now just turned to daytime, so that's good. I can actually get my distance of spotting increased a little bit due to that. Hopefully we will be able to, oh no, find them, I was going to say, but something tells me they have gone somewhere completely different. So I will be heading into the castle and hopefully speaking to, oh wow, okay, we have some priests here of the old gods and the new gods. Should we speak to these fellows? Ah, I am a priest. I see in your eyes that you are a pious soul. 
Oh my, okay. I actually don't know whether I should answer any particular question right here, because this could potentially mean something very different from what could be good. So I am going to speak to both of them. Aha. I see. I don't know what to do just yet. Leave in the comments if you have any suggestions about those two fellows, but yes. I'm hoping that we can actually find the lord or lady of this castle, but by the looks of things, that is not the case here. That is very unfortunate indeed. Okay, well maybe Telrog Castle will shed some light on that and we can outrun these guys. Yes, we can. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so where is that? Oh my goodness, they've gone all the way over there? Okay. They seem to be sieging a town of the Kingdom of Tolrania, and I am not a part of that. That makes me very sad indeed. But let us hope that we can actually catch Lord Licinius before this quest ends, because as you know, this is a very short lifespan quest indeed. Let's try... Ooh. Okay, we have some Machavians actually helping me along here. That's actually very nice of them. Okay, come on. Don't get caught in the forest. Thank you very much. Okay, good. We seem to be on the home straight here. Parisno Pilgrims. That's cool. We have Lord Falcus there as well. Not bad. Oh, that's a big party right there. Whatever that was. Oh, no. I don't really want to find out. <laughs> okay, let's just hope that they haven't actually gone in yet. Because if they have, then we may have to wait until they are done. But if not, then I will be able to speak to Lord Licinius. Oh, yes. There we are. Okay, there he is. We will be able to speak to him and complete the quest just in time. Yes, there we are, and we gained one relation and 100 experience. That's not too bad for this early in the game, and my pleasure, sir. Oh, yes, about the task you gave me, you know, that's fine, and I think that will be it. I really do want to join them in this particular siege, but yeah, <laughs> I think I am probably going to be dying incredibly quickly as a result of that, but I think it might be fun to actually try it out, so let's just stay with him for now, and once he goes in, we will join him. So, oh, he actually needs another task. Okay, we will be going in to speak with him once again. Oh, no. Okay, that's definitely not going to happen, I don't think. Can I? Hmm. That's actually... A little puzzling to me at the moment. I might be able to get some cattle. Hmm. Yes, let's try it. Let's try it. Why not? I need the cattle sooner rather than later. Well, let's go up here and try and avoid these demon worshippers. They are running from us, which is good. But they do have some prisoners that I would love to be able to recruit. As you can see here, they have Eagle Lords, Knights of the Eagle, Eagle Retainers, and Eagle Pilgrims. So... I think that might actually be a good thing, but let's just actually check how many days we have to complete this. Ten. Okay. Well, if I can catch these fellows faster rather than slower, then it would be rather nice. Oh, these wolf knights, they are going to run into them. Okay, well, never mind. I will leave them to it. And instead, I will be looting a mere steel cattle. Thirteen heads of cattle, yes. Okay, good. Now, please don't let me get beset upon by anything. And there we are. We drive away 13 heads of cattle from the village's herd. And there we are. Now, what can we do with them? Let's see. Okay. Drive the cattle onward. Can you follow us? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. This is amazing. Thank goodness. Thank goodness they are following us. Please don't get attacked by anyone. That would be terrible. Okay. So, Lord Licinius, here are your cattle. Let's hope that he hasn't actually gone in just yet. Oh, no, he hasn't. This is good. Very good, in fact. Okay, come on, cattle. Catch up to me. Yes. Okay, now where is Lord Licinius? There he is. Okay, let's hope that the cattle are actually in range. About the task you gave me. I am still working on it. Okay, apparently it is not in range just yet. There we are. Now it is in range. Great. Two seconds later. Wonderful. Okay, there we are. 600 dinars. Wow, that's actually rather worth it. 120 experience and two relation points. Not bad. Glad to be of service, sir. Oh, yes. Okay, so yet again, <laughs> we will be accompanying him and waiting for his action towards this town here. Oh, yes. 
Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, oh, this is very different. Okay, it seems the half of the attacking force is splitting away. Not entirely sure whether that is a reasonable move, although we are getting reinforcements from Lord Fenris here. So hopefully he will stick around. Yes, it seems as though he is. Good. And also Lord Publius, by the looks of things. That is good. Okay, now, how long is this going to take? Ah, there we are. <laughs> Not too long at all. Okay, so, let's just weigh this up for a second here. The town of Galwi actually has 560 or so troops. Now, we have, let's see here, 100, 200, 370, 470. Ah, we actually have a lot more. Okay, that's good. So, yeah, let's just actually see what we can do here. I'm going to go in and let's just try to do a good job in the eyes of Lord Lysinius. Oh my, this is not good. This is a siege tower, of course. What else could it be, especially when it's me? Okay, so let's just get ready here to sustain major losses. Oh no. Well, we can only hope that our marksmen are better than theirs, but it seems as though... Hmm. We're actually not doing too badly. That's not bad at all. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, Tolranian longbowmen are the things we have to worry about, as you can probably tell. Oh my. Yes, they're actually doing quite a decent job. Now, I do only have throwing weapons, so I'm not particularly able to kill anyone on the battlements there until I am probably on top of this siege tower, so... Yes, at the moment, I'm pretty much just going to be hiding behind the siege tower like a very brave man indeed. So, what I may end up doing is cutting away right here, and once the tower has reached the wall, I will cut back. Okay, so we are lucky enough only to have taken a scathing blow by the enemy's crossbowmen and longbowmen and whatever other bowmen they may have, but yes, as you can see, did actually take a little bit of damage as I was helping our units and shielding one lord in particular, but unfortunately then he got sniped. So yes, that was a little unfortunate. But it seems as though our units are not going to automatically charge in, so that is actually very different and I think is actually reminiscent of Pendor itself as well, so they must be using the same siege mod by the looks of things. But yes, this is going to be quite the bloodbath, I think. We have taken down a huge amount of enemy units so far. As you can see, we have killed 77. We have lost around 33, I suppose. 33, 34 units so far, and thankfully, I am a part of the melee-oriented faction, I believe. <laughs> if I am not, then my apologies, but I think we are actually better in melee combat than any other faction, I hope, and oh my, please don't let me take a lot of damage here. I really do want to survive this entire siege. That would be lovely. Oh no. Okay, come on, take him down. Oh no. Come on, come on guys, we can do this. They are very easy to kill. Let's just put that in our minds for now, shall we? Yes. <laughs> okay, come on. I'm actually not doing too bad damage right here, although it could be better, I suppose. Prison guards around here as well, a few of them, and I'm taking 10 damage each time from various swings. Why did I get stunned there? That was really weird. Okay, never mind. We're fine. I intentionally threw myself off the edge there because I obviously don't want to take too much damage from their longbowmen. And now, let's show them what for with our axes. And it went right through them. Wonderful. Come on, take him down. Oh my goodness, that guy is a beast. That guy is an absolute beast. He took three axes in the back. Oh no, this is not boding well for me, is it? Okay, come on. Oh, he's got a two-handed sword as well. No! No, I am somewhat dead. Oh, I actually killed someone. Good. Well, I killed someone. <laughs> but yes, we are a little unfortunate to have been taken down right there. I think we probably want to retreat here and head back in. Although, 
I don't think me retreating actually has any effect on the AI's units, or at least I hope not, because it seems as though their forces are doing quite a good job. But yes, as you can see here, we are actually losing a hell of a lot of units now. As you can see, we have over 120 units actually taken down, and they only have 150, so at the moment, they are in extremely good shape. Hmm. I'm not too sure at the moment, to be honest. Because if you look on the mini-map right now, the battle map, should I say, you can see a huge stream of enemy units coming up of the battlements here, obviously from their garrisons and barracks and what have you, all the way over to the right. Oh, no. That is not too good, is it? Okay, well... I suppose we are now... Oh, we're actually in the castle. Okay, this has actually took a turn in the positive direction right here. So I'm happy that we're actually staying in here now. Not bad. And they just have to take down these fellows now. I think maybe what would have been a really nice idea is if, of course, we didn't join the Machavians, I may have taken some Tolranian archers because, from what I can tell, they are very effective. They seem to remind me... A little of a couple of archer units from various other mods but yes they have two-handed swords and they have extremely effective longbows so hmm that seems like a very good combination indeed of course I do really value the crossbowmen of the Machavians because of course the infantry focused factions never usually have very good ranged units, but it seems as though these Machavian crossbowmen have definitely proved themselves in this siege, as they took out a huge amount of units before we started scaling the siege tower, but unfortunately, of course, due to the way that sieges work, we sustained a huge amount of casualties after that. And, oh, it seems as though we have a small insurgency force right here, attempting to flank some of the longbowmen from the Tolranian forces. Oh my. This is probably not going to work out too well in our favor right now. Oh no. And I think unless these guys are complete beasts and elite units, we are most likely going to be losing this round. But I'd like to point out that maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to pull this off because... From what I can tell so far of the Machavian's vassals' units, they are very powerful indeed. As you can see, they just keep pushing forward and forward and forward, and the Tolranians just cannot do anything to prevent that. So, yeah, I think we've made quite a wise decision to join the Machavians, and to indeed start in their territory as well, because it seems as though, in comparison to the Redwood Nation at least, the starting area is a lot more forgiving. So, yes, generally I'm actually very pleased with how it's gone so far, apart from me, of course, being taken out in this siege. I was a little disappointed in myself for that. I probably should not have rushed in and jumped off the edge there, or if I did jump off the edge, not go up and attempt to take on five guys. That was probably a bad idea. So, yes, I've learned my lesson and hopefully I will not do it again, of course. Many of you that have watched me for quite some time may indeed think that that is not going to happen because usually I do get carried away in the moment and I do like to experience the excitement with you all and try to get you the best amount of combat you can see. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, well, we're getting a couple more units coming in right here. And I can... Whoa, they've got some eagle retainers on our side. That's very nice. And speaking of those, I probably should have gone after those demon worshippers because they had, of course, some Knights of the Eagle. They would have been a valuable asset to our forces right there. But I think what I may actually end up doing here is cutting away for a short amount of time. And once our forces have fought all the way to the edge of this green area right here, I think I will probably cut back then. So, I will see you soon. Okay, so I'm actually cutting back here because from what I can tell, we only have this small band of allied forces remaining before we are all out of... Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a little fib right there. Yes, it seems as though we do still have some reinforcements available, but 
I imagined that that was our last wave, but anyway, we seem to be completely devastating the enemy's morale and their forces in the process. Now, from what I can tell, that is mainly due to our superior infantry. The Machavian North Guards and the Swordsmen, of course, are doing some very heavy damage indeed. So, that is a victory from what I can tell, at least. Maybe one of the Tauranian vassals will see fit to counterattack almost immediately, but I don't know whether they will be able to stand up to our might. And why does Kara look upset? Oh, I think I know why. We've lost quite a few units in the process of taking this, and I think she's probably going to complain a little bit about that. But we did gain 20 renown and 8 morale, so I'm actually very pleased with that. We only lost 17 units. Now, that is rather considerable, but I don't think is too bad in comparison to our allies. They lost 129, and the enemy, of course, lost 537 to death. So there we are. That is victory, and we have taken those two counts prisoner as well, and we now own this, Gaui. Now, I'm pretty sure that that is one of the first towns that anyone in the entire game so far has taken, so it seems as though the Machavians are very strong in that regard, mainly due to, I would think, the infantry perhaps? Not too sure, but yeah, I would think so. And yes, she is complaining about that we turned the battle into a bloodbath, but yes, hopefully it won't happen again. Okay, so now, do I still have this quest? I do! Okay, so let's actually just see where Lord Licinius is. There he is, okay. Let us accompany him. I am unsure about where he will be going next. I really don't want to really carry on that much more because I don't really have a very strong force at all. Oh, oh my. There is King Torlian. Oh my goodness. It seems Lord Licinius actually entered here. So I think we'll be doing the same, but we will be bringing the herd to a stop here, and these fellows are actually wanting to attack us, and they are moving pretty fast as well, so let's try to... Okay, this is not good, as you can probably tell. We have four troops, yes. We are actually going to leave some of our soldiers behind. Two soldiers, I think that is probably going to be enough. We do lose the morale that we gained previously, which is very unfortunate, but... Yeah, we're not in any shape really to carry on, are we? No. I think we're probably going to be ending this episode off here. And next time on Prisno 0.5, I think I will have gained a couple more units from perhaps Mechin, Veerzeg, Ambien, and Tarbul, And hopefully that will bring us back up to a somewhat stronger force. And then we will in turn be able to take on these Amazons and hopefully be able to retrieve some of our troops and maybe rescue a few others as well in the process. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.